Hey guys and welcome back to Roan's Corner. Today we are jumping back into the Regrowth Mod Pack. Now I do apologize that this episode is late. I had actually had one recorded, had a power outage the other night and lost a lot of my files. So you're going to see that there are some things that have already been done. They haven't been done off camera. We've completed a few quests and we've made a few items. I do apologize that I didn't get to do this stuff with you guys, but we're going to go through a few of them now and I'll show you what's been happening. Now, I'm actually not too sure how far we got in the other one. It's been a few weeks since I've done a recording on this, but we made some bags. So that was one of the things that we did. We made bags. Um, now, I think that is in what the world enables. Is it not? No, what the world embraces. Yes. So it comes with baggage. Uh, being able to carry a bit more stuff with you while you travel could come in handy. A weave of wool should be strong enough to carry a bunch of items. So we made a white bag and we got a lime bag as a reward. Now, to make that bag, it was like, no, not that one. It was like, so, so we had to get four wool, which we made using, um, we had a cotton farm set up. Again, some of this stuff, I'm not sure if I did with you guys on camera, um, but we had a cotton farm set up and we have expanded a little bit around here as well. Now, yes, I have done the mistake again, this is supposed to be tilled soil, so I'm going to have to break these and re-till them because we're actually using these new plots for our essence seeds. Now, you can see here that our essence plant is actually going really well. Get a couple of these. So, yeah, essence dust. So, they're actually coming along really, really well. And these potato seeds... We've got maximum attributes on them, so I've planted them and I've just put a whole bunch of double crops or cross crops so that it will spread. Same thing happened with our carrots, same thing happened with our wheat. Now, on to what we want to do. Oh, yeah, and I've also been making lots of compost in here as well. Now, on to what I want to get onto today. Let's have a quick look at this. Magical, mystical blue flower seeds! Yay! Finally! Now, for a few episodes, uh, and a couple of days, like real life days, I've been trying to get these things and it's been a pain in the butt because I haven't been able to get them, but we have finally done so! Mystical Flower Primary! Yay! We got red, we got blue, we got yellow, and we've got white. So that'll come in handy later when we start getting really deeply into our Britannia stuff. We'll set up a nice little area and we'll have the flowers growing. So for that, we get two mystical white flowers, two mystical blue, two mystical yellow, and two mystical red. Claim reward. Now, this is another thing that has opened up, interestingly enough. But before we get into here, let's check out these mystical other ones that we have to get. We need to get magenta, orange, green, black, and light blue. So fingers crossed this doesn't crash on me. Here we go. We need magenta. All right, everyone, before we do this, fingers crossed. Cross your fingers, cross them. Ah, uh, oh, thank you guys for crossing your fingers because lo and behold, it did not crash on us. All right, so we need red mystical flower seeds, cross them with blue mystical flower seeds, and we'll get magenta. So we don't need these anymore. Let's break these up. Uh, what else do we need? We need orange. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at some of these. So this will require red and yellow. Now, we wanted magenta, which needs red and blue. So what we can do there is... Uh, oh, I have run out of space. Hello, Elium. We don't have those in there. Blue orchid. We do have those in there. And magenta dye, we don't really care about. Um, so we can actually dump a bunch of these and we can compost the seed. So throw you away. Throw you away. We don't want you. We don't need you. And what we do want is we want to actually, first off, we need one of you. We will take you and we will put you there. And we'll go crop, crop, crop. And we will get out our red flower seeds, our yellow flower seeds, and our blue flower, uh, fl 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 flower seeds. Now, we put down a red flower, and in order to get magenta, we crossbreed it with blue. 
And in order to get orange, we crossbreed it with yellow. So do I have... Yes, we have bone meal. So make you mature. Make you mature. And make you mature. And we will want... One, two, three, four crop sticks. And I'll put you there. And I'll put you there. So now the red and blue will mingle together and make beautiful magenta baby seeds. And the yellow and red will mingle together and make beautiful orange seeds. Fingers crossed. Sometimes these things take a while. Okay, so we want to get into our book again. And yes, I have a lot of cobble. I have sat here getting lots of cobble because I am revamping this place. As you can see, I've made it a bit wider over there. We're trying to get ourselves a bit more space. Because you can never have enough space when it comes to farms. That size farm probably isn't going to be big enough. We're going to have to... Oh, we've got our first crossbreed. What's this? What's this? What's this? Red flowers. See? See? Sometimes it takes a while. That's all right. The more seeds that we get that we don't want, the more compost we can make. So as I was saying, uh, we're getting lots of cobble. And I've just been sitting here with my pick breaking this and you'll see that I've got a log of wood behind it that's because the flint pickaxe will take a lot longer to break that log block than it does for cobble to re-emerge so I literally sat here with my finger on the mouse uh, mouse button watching episodes of other youtubers online shout out to Modi 101 now I have also I finished the wall in here well sort of I made it into marble, raw marble. But in the future, I'm actually considering in making this place again a lot bigger. But instead of using marble, I want to use living rock just to give it that real, true Batania feel. Or what do you guys think? Should I use living rock or leave it as marble? Leave your comment, uh, leave your answers down in the comment section below, and we'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, I'm sort of thinking living rock, but marble does look so good. I am I love building with marble. It just looks so pretty. All right, another thing we made, the runic altar. To make this, we had to get an ender pearl, put it in our mana pool there to get mana pearls, and we had to put living rock around them. You can also do this with a diamond, but we're not up to that stage yet. We can't get diamonds. So doing this means that we can start making new things because upgrading stuff, especially in magical crops, is no longer a case of um, you dig up the ore, smelt it into an ingot and put four of the ingots and a seed and the essence that requires it and you get the seed. No, it's not like that. We have to make them using a runic altar. I'll show you what I mean. Now, I haven't got enough essence. Oh, excuse me one sec. And we're back again. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm actually starting a security course. Well, I was supposed to be starting it uh, this week. It got postponed to next week. And now it's been postponed to the week after. Hooray! All right, but that means that I've got more time to spend with you guys. You guys get to see more time with moi. <laughs> okay, so what we're up to? We're up to the copper. Uh, I believe what the world is made of. Yes. So during the uh, last episode that got erased, I went through and I got a bunch of these essences. And I, show you, I did show on camera how to get these sorts of things. I had plenty of resources in order to do that. Probably not so much anymore. So maybe in the next episode, I'll take you guys through that after I uh, go out and I collect a bunch more resources. But this is what I wanted to show you in regards to it. Once you get enough of these essences, you use that in the runic altar to make seeds. So if we look up copper and we put a space in there and hit seeds, you'll see copper seeds from magical crops. Now, if we click on those, you'll see that we need to make it in the runic altar. But we need four essence of copper, four weak essence and an essence seed. And that will give us copper seeds. 
So as I was saying before, it's not a case, in this mod pack, it's not a case of going out and getting the ore, smelting it to ingots, putting it in a crafting table, adding essence to it, adding a seed to it, and bing bang bosh, you've got yourself a magic seed. No. This mod pack, as I've stated a few times, focuses very heavily around the Batania stuff. Which is understandable, considering some of the things that you can do with Batania will help us a lot in remodeling, or oh, sorry, not remodeling, regrowing this world. Hence the name of the mod pack, Regrowth. Now you'll see here that I have set up this little Hydroangia mana production area. I need to make a couple more of these, which... Do you guys want to see me do that on camera? Yeah, I say we do that on camera because I've got all of the resources here. So we need two blue petals, three cyan petals, and one pink petal. Now, you'll notice that some of those are actually a little bit different. Ah. Hydro... here we go. Oh, what's that? Hydrophobic initiator. Keeping me within your inventory allows you to place blocks on water. Oh, that's cool! But that's not what we're looking at. Alright, so blue, pink, cyan. Alright, blue, pink, cyan. Blue, pink, cyan. Blue, pink, cyan. One cyan. One pink. Actually, no, we need two cyan. Because we need three, and these only give us two. And one blue. Okay, so we break these down into its petal form. And you'll notice that some of these look different. Blue mana petal instead of mystical blue petal and cyan mana petal instead of mystical cyan petal to turn them into ma uh, mana petals mana or mana or however you want to pronounce it we simply take the petal and throw it into our mana pool and it gives us mana petals now how do we make flowers we put them into the petal apothecary a pop -ap apothecary so we need to throw you in and we need to throw you in now we only want two of the mystical cyan petals ah go away get out of my inventory and one of the mana and one of the pink petals now again you'll notice that it's not doing anything we have gone over this before you need seeds which i have been collecting throw that in there and Boom! We've got a Hydra Angia. And that is how you make all of the mist, uh, the uh, mystical flowers that you can create in the Apothecary. So we'll fill you up with water again. And we'll put that back. Yes, I have all my stuff here. All nicely set out. Whew. Sorry, I've just had a coffee and I am hypo. Okay, so we've finished those ones for now. We need to wait until we get some extra stuff. Clay for days. You need 10 mystical grey flowers. Do we have 10? No, we have 5. And hmm, what do we have a lot of? We have a lot of light blue, so we'll leave 5 here. Actually, 15, 30. Yes, 30, I think. I think we're going to need more than that. Okay, so if we put you in here, and we go, nope, 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 nope. What? What? Did they change the recipe on me? Floral. Here you go. Floral fertilizer. Oh, we need it in powder form. Okay, that's all right. Whoa, we can handle that. Okay, come on, come on. Here we go. Coffee is amazing. Alright, so now we're cooking with charcoal. Shut up. That sounded a lot better in my head. Alright, so now I've got eight floral fertilizer. And with a said floral fertilizer, we can go up, 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 up. And we've got a lot more flowers. Now there is a flower that you can make which pretty much spawns these around it. So we can get into that. Oh, I've run out of space. 
we can get oh yeah we got some great we can get into that side of things but again we're going to be making those floral flowers so we'll probably mainly be using those all right how many do we have now six did we need light gray or did we need hmm 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 interesting yes we needed light gray okay Bugger, because we've got enough grey flowers there. Alright, well, you know what? Uh, we've got seven. Hmm. Do I make some more? We will need seven times four is 24. We'll take some of you. Take some. I'll put one back. I'll take some of you. Yay! And we still have our. Yes, we still have out of mortar and pestle. If you right click on the crafting table when you're taking stuff out, like this. Right click, you take a stack out. And it'll make you. Okay, now we can put our bone meal back in. And we can go boop. And we can go boop and get you. Oh, huh, I overcalculated. We were supposed to only need 12, not 24. Good work, Ryan, good work. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. All right, and we'll break these, and we'll see how many we get. Fingers crossed we get the amounts that we need. And we have run out of space again. Curse this minimal amount of space in my inventory. Oh, well, I suppose that should be more along the lines of curse my inability to keep my inventory clean. Now, how many light gray flowers do we have? Seven. All right, we're not going to bother about that anymore. That's annoying me now. We only got two. Two out of that. Two damn flowers. I'm going to move on to something else. I don't like you anymore. What the world teaches? No. What the world enables? No. What the world embraces? No, we can't do those. Um, <laughs> the encoding of the world. We can do this. But I don't want to get into that yet. I want that to be... Ah, this is what I was looking for. Which came first? The chicken or the egg? Feathers can be a very useful resource. And eggs might be just the basis you need to bring back other forms of life. Next up, chickens! So it wants us to make 16 eggs. Now, we have seen a chicken. We weren't supposed to, but we have seen a chicken. Now... When this play is correct, and you don't see any chickens, you have to make them. In order to make eggs, we need mandrake seeds, check. Normal seeds, check. Pasture seeds, check. But we need a rune of mana, and a rune of earth. This is where things get a little interesting, because we haven't got into these yet. So we can't do that. Oh, okay. Um, what about how the world changes? Nothing. The way the world feels? Nothing. All right. There is a thing where it wants us to make ender seeds. Where did it go? Please come back. Baby, come back. Don't leave me. Ender seeds. Here we go. With Ender Essence in hand and a runic altar at your disposable, you think you found a way to infuse a seed with the means to create Ender Pearls. Now, I have no idea what it means about es uh, Ender Essence in hand because I don't have any Ender Essence. I haven't been given any Ender Essence. So we're going to have a look and see how you make Ender Seeds. Buy two Ender Pearls, two Mana Pearls, Ender se uh, Essence Seeds, and Weak Essence. Alright, we've got all the Weak Essence we need. How are we looking on those ender pearls? Four. Ah, no, go back. And how many did we need? Four. Beautiful. Oh, and I've already got two mana pearls in our inventory. Sweet. All right, so this means that you get to see, before we go, you get to see a runic altar at work. So we put... You can right click or you can throw stuff on here. That works too. Um, uh, Magical Ender Seeds. So we've put the two Ender Pearls. We need two Mana Pearls. 
If you're throwing stuff on there, you have to aim for the top. There we go. We also need four weak essence. Have I put weak essence anywhere? I probably have not. I have probably used it all. So this super crafting table, if you shift hit it, you'll see that I have put in this uh, recipe the weak infusion stone and four essence dust around it and I've set it to player inventory or player and inventory which means it'll use anything in my inventory uh, any essence like weak essence no any regular no any essence dust in my inventory um, to do so but it'll also use the essence in here to do so so we'll be getting a bunch of these set up all the way up to strong or master essence I can't remember which one it is leave me alone Okay, so we also needed how many of this? Because I've got a lot. Four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful! And we need essence seed. So, oh, I'm really hungry. Okay, I don't have any food on me. And we're starting to go over time. So, we're not going to worry about food. We're just going to get straight into doing this for you guys. Come here. Go back and I'll put another uh oh uh oh uh oh I'm stuck outside it's night time and I'm hungry I can't run fast don't eat me I'm going the wrong way I'm totally going the wrong way don't eat me oh there's a skeleton don't shoot me I can't go that way because I made it a cliff ah! Get up here! Ah oh, no! I can't find my die! Die 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 die! No, go away, 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 go away. Ah! You got me! Ah! You got me again! Go, nigga! Oh crap! They're gonna come over! Ah! Pick off! Ow! Go away! Break you? Okay. <sighs> we are safe once more. Ah, God damn it! Yellow and red. All right. So we now have our essence seed that we're going to come over here, and we're going to put our essence seed in there. And in order to make the magic start, we have to right click. But in order for the magic to work. We need one of those right here. So I'm going to leave this episode as a bit of a cliffhanger because we have gone over time and this episode is very late. So this episode is actually being done today and going up today. I was supposed to be up at 10 o'clock uh, Australian time this morning. Again, I do apologize. Um, I explained at the start what had happened. I will try to not let it happen Again, please, don't be angry at me. I've already been shot by skeleton in the butt. Is that not payment enough? Is that not punishment enough? Okay, so up until I see you guys again, this has been Roan from Roan's Corner. If you like the episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you have any comments, anything that you want to tell me, anything you want to ask me, leave a comment down in the comments section below. And make sure you tell me whether you want the walls surrounding the Britannia area to be living rock, or do you just want to leave it as marble? Or if you have any other ideas, let me know. Again, Roan from Roan's Corner, signing out. Peace!